Hi, my name is Jennifer Diebold. I'm one of the 144,000 lightworkers, starseed of many different types and many different backgrounds. Um, no matter how, um, they, how much they differ, um, dark and light, kind of like yin and yang, I merge them together and they complement each other um, as I heal and integrate it all. So today I wanted to talk to you about soul family. Soulmates are included in soul family and so are twin flames. Soul family are those who keep coming back to each other. They want to stick together no matter what, no matter what experiences, before they're born, before after they're born, no matter what. Soulmates are those who are brought together but may not necessarily get close or stick together. Soul family are those who want to stick together, who want to get close, who see eye to eye. For whatever reason, sometimes soulmates, they might have a difference of opinion, they may not see eye to eye, they may have different pathways. Um, but they, everyone comes into our t lives for a time, a season, a reason, no matter how brief or how long. So it's never a waste. As some go, more come, and the universe always brings in those who are meant to um, stick together. One of my mottos that I heard, one of the mottos I heard recently that I'm adapting as my own is, your vibe attracts your tribe. An example of soul family um, is, for me, is my cat Rockstar. Animals can also be soul family. And Rockstar and I, we keep coming back many different times before I was born in this life. He is awakened and I'm reawakening off and on, but as the Great Awakening is here, I'm definitely awakening and going much deeper into my shadow work to make sure that I stay awake in this time. And um, Rockstar and I, we were both Syrian. Well, I was Syrian. He was, um, I believe, Larian. Another time he was Larian, and I was a different background. I'm not sure what I was at that time, um, other than being a starseed. And in another life, we died by somebody else and I don't want to go there because that's kind of a trigger for some I, I think so I'd rather not touch that topic but um, we went through that and I couldn't remember any of this until maybe two, two, three years ago and it's amazing how fate keeps bringing us back together and um, when I was younger, I was walking down the driveway with another soul and planning this part of my life. I was talking about how I'm going to have my own place and I'm going to have a male tabby. I always believed that males were more affectionate as far as the animal world goes, well, as far as the cat world goes, but um, his sister has taught me quite the opposite, well, quite differently, that they both are. And so I wanted a male, I wanted a tabby, black and gray stripe, or orange and white stripe, and um, he is black and gray stripe. And he's just detail for detail, and I didn't even remember any of this, I just knew that that's what I wanted, and I either manifested it, it's fate, or the universe brought us back together, whatever reason, we keep coming back. Um, soul family are those who you want to get close to, you want to connect with, and that are friends Soul, soul family in this life, um, including twin flames, and they're the ones that are going to help you grow, help you get stronger, help you heal. So you always want to, um, you don't want to cut your wings short for anyone. You want to look for those who are in your future, for your future, and not coming from where you were in the past, because you want to be inspired and see what you want in yourself from what qualities they have and be your own person at the same time. So this is um, an interesting topic and I talk more about it more in depth um, in my book The Journey to Enlightenment Transcending Dark Nights of the Soul. It can be found on Amazon in most countries. You just go to Amazon and type in my name Jennifer Diebold and the book will come up. Um, so if you're looking for some deeper information, that's a great place to go. I will be doing more Oracle card readings on here. I can be found on Facebook under Jennifer Diebold if you'd like any private Oracle card readings. And at the same time, I'm leaving more meditations on here and more
content about what's going on and what I'd like to share as well on this channel. So um, if you have any suggestions, anything that you might like to see, I'm always open to constructive criticism and um, suggestions. So um, with that, have a wonderful morning, afternoon, or evening, no matter where you're at.